In today's video, we're going to be doing some drawing exercises that are awesome for beginners, but also maybe for those of you who are more advanced. But in case we haven't met yet, hi, my name is Jess. I'm from the Gold Coast Art School here in Australia. We're going to be looking at some different art supplies, not necessarily using them, but really looking at them, looking at the shapes and the forms that they make. And we're going to be doing a few quick sketches of them. So please follow along. This is gonna be a step-by-step -step thing. We're just gonna do a series of quick sketches of these different materials. Uh, yeah, get your pencils and your paper ready. Let's go. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is drawing this little bottle here. And this is a cube kind of shape and then it has a round cylindrical top on top. So you're not necessarily looking at details, you just want to get the main form down. Let's go. Mm, I put this on a little bit of an angle here. So I need to make sure that my shapes are generally correct. Generally correct. It's quite a sharp sort of an angle there. This is a little bit of a trickier one to see than I thought. Why? Because it is a glass bottle, which means it's got lots of open looking um, angles, corners to it. And it's got some funky little curves there, but that's all right. You just do your best because gosh darn it, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, it's starting to look like a bit of a milk carton. Mini little milk carton. All right, I'm gonna have to round off that top because remember, we're working with three dimensions here, so we're not looking at flat shapes. So it's not a flat, it is a curve. It's rounded and that top is an ellipse. And ellipses don't have corners. Gotta make sure it's rounded off. Whatever you do to the top, you've got to do the bottom. Remember? Now go. Oh, now I can see this is like really off here. Really, really off. I might even move this whole gosh darn thing down, even though I've only got about 20 seconds to go. <gasps> do, 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 do. That's okay, you're allowed to make these kinds of adjustments. Don't be afraid to redo your work like that. It's a work in progress. You're not drawing in pen, you're using pencil. You can rub it out, you can try it again, do it again. Oh, I made a pretty big adjustment there. And even I could be dipping into this a heck of a lot more. Let's move it along to drawing number two. Here is the next object that I have chosen. Now, I thought a spatula might be a little bit interesting. The thing about this is that you have to get this length of the handle because that's the main part of this story, right? And then you might want to use your pencil and do one of these numbers when you're looking at the object to try and see how long is the head compared to the rest of the body. And really this head part here is about twice as long as the body. All right, I'm just gonna loosely put that in there and then I can just check. Don't, don't, maybe I need to make that even longer. Okay. Ooh, we're almost coming up to the one minute mark. Mm. 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 Now we're there. Okay, these two pointed bits here. Pretty much in line with each other. Oh, that'll be the telephone. Somebody's calling us, but 
I'm making a video so I can't stop. Please leave us a message and I will get back to you. Thank you. Oh, I think our thing is about to go off. that bit <laughs> I feel like I could do a little bit of work here there's something going on in here I feel like my angles off like I'm going up maybe a bit too much maybe it should really be a little bit more straightened out and I also feel like there's something happening over here that I could be working on with this one Fascinating little angles happening in there. And when you really start to look at it, you see more and more of it. It just sort of reveals itself a little bit more. Have you seen one of these before? Maybe I haven't seen it for about 30 years. Well, you can actually get these in the shops. They're not that hard to get. Um, I just used this one. It's a pencil sharpener. Every time our students use this, they break it because they don't know how to use these things properly. Anyway, let's set you up and clean off my paper because I've just spilt stuff all over it. I've just mainly set this up on its side because I don't really want to overcomplicate things with these sketches right now. Maybe if I was doing some sketches that were longer, say five minutes instead of a two minute, then that would be a good opportunity to place an object like this at an angle, something a bit more interesting to practice drawing it from that angle. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know how to explain things, don't I? All right, so did the box. Now I'm trying to see like what's happening with the top of it. So it's one, two, three, four. This top is bigger than I think. Bigger than like just looking at it. It's actually about four. One, two, three is about that big. All right. Holy mackerel, we're running out of time with this one. All right, now this silver bit, it's not at the very halfway mark of that main piece. It's actually a little bit higher up. Probably even put that a little bit higher up still. And it is a little bit covered by these black square bits, which are the little handles. that sits up quite a bit higher. Okay. Now, I can see a little bit of this side still. It's just a little teeny tiny sliver down there. All right, and now this crank part on the other side, it needs to sit inside of here. So keep that in mind, like the actual literal mechanics of this object, you might want to think about. Ooh, before you run out of time like me. Stop. Look, I'm cheating. I'm just cheating on my way through this. I think that's all right for like a really super duper quick sketch. It's all right if yours looks very sketchy or there's things that aren't quite in the right place that you can see. Like you might be looking at your drawing and going, oh, is there something wrong with it? Like what is wrong with it? Analyze it. Go back, keep looking at the picture. You can use your pencil to measure how tall things are in comparison to others or how wide they might be in comparison. All right, we're on to number four. Lucky number four. I've chosen a spray bottle. These are excellent for acrylic paints, for your watercolors. This is gonna have some complications, like this main body here would be fairly straightforward, but then you get to the head and there's all these itty bitty little bits and lots of negative shapes in here. Let's just do the best that we can. I think this will be a fun one. All right, body, start with the body. And I've got a bit of bulk over here, so I might just try and move the body over a little bit more. Try 
triangular formation with a big bottom. I'm going to go quick and sketchy this time around because there's a lot to draw and I don't have a huge amount of time. All right, then we start with all of this fun detail that's happening up here. Yes, I'm drawing boxy to start with, but remember these are cylinders, they're round. They're, they're meant to be curved, you guys. Curve them if you can. All right, now this bit here to me looks like a big fat rectangle sort of a shape. That just jumps out there like that. Hmm, there's an interesting little area in here. So this sort of rectangle bit here. Oh, we're under one minute. Oh my goodness gracious me, we're running out of time. We're gonna be okay, guys. Do this. Get a bit gestural. Gestural with your, your, your brush strokes. I'm gonna set them. It's more like your pencil marks on the page. Get gestural. Oh, and there's a gap in there. Holy moly. There's some funky funky things happening in there and there we have it I think that this is not supposed to be as low as that is if I'm looking at this now in assessment to see where things are supposed to go and I can put my pencil on there this is not meant to be dipping below my pencil hashtag us show us what you've done I would love to see your work and maybe I can even give you some tips Learning these art foundations, these absolute fundamentals of drawing so you're able to draw more and paint more is really important. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of these videos in your feed. Give it a bit of a like and we will catch you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of the week everyone. Bye!